welcome to the new segment of our channel, Combat Kitchen Time! Yes, Combat Kitchen surprises us every time. So yeah. we are going to do combat cooking. And this time... With Omnia Oven. We bought it from Omnia Oven like, I think, one year ago. And we have used it a lot, but we haven't actually filmed. That much. Yeah. Usually when we start cooking, we are so hungry that we just want the food to be ready and then we will just eat it and forget that we had to film it. And we like it. It's so good because we have missed an oven. The oven itself looks like this, so it's three parts. There's the lid, then there's this middle section and the bottom one. And as you can see, there's a hole. So the heat will circulate inside the oven and heat anything that is inside. As Joni mentioned, we have used this a lot, so you can see this is really black. Yeah. Then there's this grill. You can buy extra part. This red silicone cover is a must-have. And it doesn't come with the oven from some strange reasons. You have to buy it separately. But if you don't use this silicone cover... Then you have lots of dishes to do. And the shape is a round shape, so if you make a pizza, it will... Have a hole. Like a middle. donut. You can use it on the electrical plate and gas hop, but not in induction. Best way to heat the whole oven with a really high temperature and then put it in the, in the middle room. section. So yeah. that way the cooking time is same as in normal oven. So you can use normal oven cooking recipes in this. Only one thing that we find it it doesn't do the same thing as in normal oven. It's, it doesn't get the nice brown golden cover. Crust. Oh, crust. But the food itself or the cookies or bread or whatever you are baking, they will be cooked. Morning time we made our favorite thing. Ready make fresh bread. Chia patas, yeah. They are really great because... They are pre-made. So we don't have to work on the dough and get our hands <laughs> dirty. Yeah. The text uh, on the recipe it tells 200 degrees and 10 minutes and it was 10 minutes on that stove. Yeah. And it's ready. You have freshly baked warm bread on your table. Yeah. It tastes so good and the smell of fresh bread is oh, unbelievable. But now we are going to cook in this oven uh, pasta. Casserole. Um, uh, is it the casserole? Yes, I think okay. it's uh, casserole is the name. Yeah. Now that you like it, shit. No. I have to go buy eggs because we ate all the eggs in the morning time with the bread. Yeah, shit. <laughs> so I go grocery shop for eggs and then we start making the casserole. Yeah. Yes, quick stop at the grocery store and now we have eggs. After we avoid avoid the egg disaster and we got new eggs so we are going to cook in this oven really simple really easy and somewhat cheap food so everyone can do it and there's not much much dishes or ingredients that's all onion eggs pepper milk soy or minced meat and pasta. Every ingredient in this pot, so not much food prepping. Only thing we have to slice and peel the on onion. One only onion is peeled, so next phase is to chop it. With the dull knife. So we are going to put a dried pasta in this oven and we are going to put three Deciliters, what is it? Deciliters. One is there, two, and three. Soya. Dry it soy. One deciliter. One deciliter of dried soy. Onion. 
Five deciliters of Ultimatic. Two. X. One tool that you need is a fork. Dishes! Oh my god! Ten add pepper or spices to your choice. So that's it. You just basically pour everything in this oven. So how it works? There comes the heat and it circulates the whole pot. 45 minutes later. Let's check out how this thing is going. Okay. Looks pretty good. Yeah. So we added two deciliters of soft milk instead yeah. of the boil because we want it to be moist. Yeah. There wasn't that much. But this is the amount of dishes that we made. So not much. Really easy and quick and dish free food to make. But yeah. Final product looks like this. And we are going to enjoy it with the ketchup and sriracha. <laughs> looks delicious after the ketchup. <laughs> 